Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll call the meeting order. Um, the only comment that I have right now um, is I don't think that we have a status on our crossing signs, our dark and loose crossing signs yet. Uh, so, yeah. John is aware. Okay, he's aware that we're kind of looking for it because I know pretty that, soon. yeah, yeah, pretty soon we're going to have the babies, the babies, yeah, the baby ducks. Yeah. And I know that. Not as many babies. Fresh, not as many babies this year. Not yet, anyway. My. You mean what about the geese? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yesterday, I saw a couple of them crossing right in front of the fire station. Yeah. I counted 12 little baby you, geese. Oh, yeah, like one yes. of the groups of the Canada's has a really big. Uh, wow. I saw because that yesterday, too. My, because I, that, I, because I thought about what everybody was saying, and I'm going, because last yeah. week, I think I saw four to six. This week, 12 oh, crossing. And we had to actually stopped the traffic. We're still the late. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. late. I thought they had done such a good job addling. That's what I thought. I, I thought that they like had done maybe it's the weather, but it's been cool. That's what I'm wondering because my study group hasn't had their babies yet. They had two two years ago, and they had six last year, and none this year. And so, but the female is missing. So in about seven days, they're going to hit their 28 days that she's been missing. Yeah. So there may be babies. And I've seen the mail. He comes to my house. So well, I if know. you're in a hurry and you're going down that road, get off at Castle Road and go up because go. because it takes them. It's surprising how long it takes for all of them okay. to get. Well, across. it's good that John's aware because we're going to have it. Tragically, uh, we had one pedestrian that got filled on Ocean Parkway in yeah. April, and so we you know, bicycle. Was it a bicycle? Yeah, that's what I thought. They were riding a bicycle and it made a turn. No. I, I didn't hear the details on it. Okay. Was a woman? Yeah. yeah. She was walking. She was walking. And, and it she was like well, nine, nine, eight, nine. No, it was, was like nine in the morning. I don't know if they investigated it, but I think texting or driving is, is a huge problem these days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The 30 year old Beth, Beth so, Jones, I think her name was. I yeah. didn't know either party, but. But for the ducks, you're right now we've got the babies coming out and we're going to be needing our crossing signs to, yes. to yeah. warn people to slow down, if nothing else, to keep them from having accidents bumping into each other to avoid the anger of the people or the, the, people, the, people, the, the guests. The guests yeah. are the darting to the and it will be. Probably. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's, I remember right. reading about right. it in the local paper. Yeah. Yeah, they don't know if they got killed. They didn't get killed, probably. No. What happened? But this lady. Oh, I just remember <laughs> reading about somebody who was on their bicycle on the side, on, you know, on the little path and got hit and uh, they were I killed or something. I didn't hear that when I did. I, hear I read about it. walking and yeah. that they did investigate the case. I ride my bike all the time and, and she was killed. Yeah. Well, unless it's yeah. really cold. Not and that's the one thing I worry about because sometimes it's really close. Really we need to wear like a knee outside. I have, I have a here. big orange. <laughs> believe me, I have a very bright outfit. Yeah, that's smart. That's <laughs> smart. So everybody, please be Except careful. I have sunglasses on. <laughs> when you're walking and when you're driving, um, I think Patricia has a good point. I think people are not paying as close attention because of these phones. And I can't blame it on that. We have no idea what exactly happened, but that's a very slow area anyway to be driving on the Ocean Parkway, yeah. especially for a pedestrian walking and someone to, to hit them, you know, enough to kill them. It's really tragic. My husband had an accident there in that same area last year where the person hit him so hard that the car spun around. Oh, wow. And they found that it was a kid who was on his parents' insurance and found out that he was not looking at all and was going, he wasn't slowing down for people who were stopping. Okay. Well, not far from where that woman was hit, I think somebody drove her over a tree, one of the small trees that's in the in the center of the, the grass that's in the median. Yeah, there's a there's a tree. tree that, I mean, I think something. they drove over it because there's a tree that's no, well, sometimes people cars. swerve to keep from hitting the car in front of them and they or run off to the yeah. left or, or right. a duck. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, um, I guess the answer is we're waiting to, to hear about our status of our, our uh, signs. 
I uh, hope everyone had a chance to look over our agenda and the meeting minutes from our April meeting. Um, so I'd like to uh, see if we can get the agenda approved today. We have a motion. So thank you, Patricia. And a second. Okay. <laughs> agreement no. the meeting minutes from april 19th if you had a chance to look over those uh are there any corrections the minutes okay. and then second a second yeah uh, yeah you guys should not set together <laughs> Okay, and we have no public comments <laughs> today. <laughs> so I am excited. I want to start the meeting off with some good news and made my day Monday. I'm glad we're all setting down. Um, you know, we've had this on our uh, agenda for a few months now since our gentleman came and talked to us from uh, um, so 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 you what was it so you solitude solitude thank you solitude um after he made his presentation and he sent us the contract everyone saw that and we forwarded that to management through doug so this was uh last friday and i got the email on monday that uh steve farr who is with maryland coastal bays uh, wanted to let us know that they are recommending to their policy committee this week while we're um, you know having a meeting this week and then the um, to the policy committee next week and then the EPA that their 2024 bipartisan infrastructure law funding I'll forward this to you and I'll share it with you I just wanted the element of surprise today funding to include the installation of the soft shoreline at the Southgate Pond. So this is not approval yet, but this is that they are highly recommended to the policy committee that they approve it. Um, the caveat to this, we're still going to have to be patient. Um, the funding will not be available until possibly October of 2023. So that's still in timeline with them. Because as we know, the shoreline uh, would need to be done either spring or fall uh, when they put the grasses on there so that it'll grow. Because if they did this kind of work in the summertime, we'd have a little problem with uh, possible dying uh, due to drought conditions. At least we get enough rain in the spring and usually the fall. And this is the limited area. No, we had recommended that the, the, the more we do, mm -hmm. the less expensive mm -hmm. it is. And that whole area, especially when Tim and I went over and walked the area, mm -hmm. and then Karen had taken pictures in her presentation, uh, we saw that that whole area along the road is really in dire need. It'll be from like 300 feet or so, yeah. however many feet that goes from the culvert uh, at the parking lot down probably towards that picnic table right. that's down there. So that's great. Um, but it's being recommended that they approve it and uh, I guess the grant money that they'll be having. So I'm just so excited. Can I make a comment? Yes, sure. So I viewed their, uh, they did that webinar thing too and I put in a question, a question. This is something to keep in mind and it's how they uh, attach that thing to the shore they use. There will, you know, when John was here, he had pictures of whatever they used with the stake. So my question was, well, what happens in, you know, five or plus years when those wooden stakes decay? And, you know, how does that uh, stuff held in place? Uh, their response wasn't all that great. They, they kind of hemmed and hawed and said, well, uh, I don't know, you could uh, re redo that. So my concern was, obviously, when if this is built, Ocean Pines doesn't need to have a <clears throat> maintenance cost <laughs> associated with it, or at least a very minimal maintenance cost. Well, I can yes. eliminate that concern that you have. I talked to the EPA, and what they said is after five, 10 years, it becomes so, mm -hmm. um, the root system yeah, okay. is yeah. going to hold it. And, and and when I talked to John Phelps about like the history, because you had mentioned this in a meeting or so before, 
Um, he said that historically what happens is the root system gets so ingrained that those stakes can just rot away okay. or fade into the it environment. Becomes part of the... It becomes part of the earth yeah. and uh, it's all very... Um, okay. that, that's, you know, that's great. Uh, they, they, friendly. they could have clarified that during the webinar, but um, I just wanted to make sure. That... I don't know why they didn't because yeah. I did... So when I, During the webinar, I yeah. saw your question. I didn't know that... Tim was you, but yeah. Um, yeah, I did see that question. I wasn't sure why they weren't a little more specific. Depends on the expertise of the person doing the webinar. Right? Well, that's true. <laughs> it wasn't John. They did have another gentleman that was uh, probably a little mm -hmm. higher up and capable of yeah. giving that presentation. Less so direct experience with the stuff. Exactly. Yeah. So he was the manager, not the you heard all of that, so we're kind of excited. The game done and we're the next one. Yeah, we're getting yeah. done. And then my goal, I'll just share this with you. It's not on here, but I'm going to try to get hold of the gentleman with uh, tribal. Tribal. Who is it? Oh, uh, coastal tribal. I, I don't write it down. I don't remember. I, I have to show you something. I did get some follow up on. Did that. you get some follow up? Yeah, they're I'm sure concerned that. about laws, and. Um, what they want us to go out there with um, the county people oh. and uh, walk around with them about some um, regulations. Well, we can do that. Yeah. We can absolutely. I'll send you the I get to follow up. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to get, his name was Burr? Yeah, he passed it on to someone else. All right. Well, I'd like to, I want to call them. Okay. And I want to see if I can get them in here because this first step of uh, erosion we need to get that fixed, but we I'm not giving up on the habitat modification because that is what we need and that's what we presented to the board last year and they were all excited about it and now we're having a changing of the guard. So, you know, we, we don't want to lose that focus. Um, and these are the people that work in the park that they did um, in the park, right? Yes, yeah. So they're familiar. I just want to get a feel for what they think they could do for us because yeah. we don't know. We, That's may, a good idea. we may not even we may go in a different direction with some other company, but we don't know what we don't know. So yeah. I'd like to touch base with him and maybe get him in here next month. I'll yeah. try. And but I yeah. assume that the the grant funding wouldn't be dependent on a specific vendor. Not at all. So. Well, right now, right now, that would be separate. The the grant funding that we're looking at for the erosion control is so, the vendor gotcha. that's going that's given the presentation that has written the contract for us. Okay. So, and that's what we gave to Viola, and that's what he shared with Maryland Coastal Bay. So that part is separate. Um, so I figure. If um, and, and they might be able to help us, but we don't know until we start pursuing it. But that's a separate item, I think. Yeah, this was more important that we really needed to get that set up because what they're doing now by throwing rocks and dirt, and especially now that the trees have been cut down, mm -hmm. it's going to become more of a problem. So we need to get that fixed. I'll send you the contact person and her phone number. Thank you. Okay. In the Route 90 pond, um, uh, Patricia and Patty have done a good bit of work on um, setting up some approaches, staged, staged approaches for the Route 90 pond over there, which I thought was very good and thoughtful that you guys um, put that together for us. And I found, I'll say that word. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. Anyway, I have it. Uh, and uh, Patty, this will be something that's going to be really important mm -hmm. for you to see in the next meeting. I'm going to mm -hmm. put this in the middle of the table. Let me get my bearings here. Where are they? On C, you got another name. Yeah, yeah, I guess they just needed that. Okay, so this is for everyone. I'll come around and I'll look over your chambers this way. Which way is front? I left that little one down there. That little, that I'm sorry, you guys can't see that. Yeah. 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 You pull this out and I'm going to sneak in between you. That's okay, you can leave that there. Okay, so where are our homes? Where's our parking lot? Well, this is. Oh, where, here's the homes. Yeah, that's yeah. that's where 
the trail gets kind of indistinct in yeah. these houses and you know it looks like some of the some folks have sort of like co-opted some of the space along the the yeah. pond shore just yeah. You know. is this a little oh there it is okay thank yeah. you looking yeah. it upside down this is a little tiny parking lot yeah. and this is where yeah. This would be the library parking. The trail starts around exactly, and that's over here. What I thought was interesting was the Chop Tank Electric Cooperative Inc. It looks like they own that. They, it's deeded to them. Mm -hmm. so that's the library parking lot. It's this area over here, I think, where you you I guys. I think were... that's Marsh Land. Yeah. It looks like it. Yeah. A lot of maybe that is. Are you familiar yeah. with it? There's uh, a stormwater well, management pond. There's a stormwater management pond right in. Remember, Pat, we saw that stormwater management pond. Is that what she's looking at, the area? Um, no, because this is, yeah, possibly, but it's just, that was just a little corner of the parking lot. Kind yeah. Of. We're out there on Monday just to look yeah, at it. And the library you know, is not on here. It's further off. Yeah, it's it's further over there, this way, yeah, right? Yeah. Right. So the little trail that we walked and you guys walked, we're around here, mm -hmm. and then when you come along here, this is where we're looking at uh, where the homes are. Uh huh. And there's some chairs and picnic tables and and but the, but the and trail is kind of obscure. I have Absolutely, yeah. 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 So what I'm wondering, and I guess we'll have to do um, some investigating with uh, public works, as you guys have listed on your. Um, list of things that we can pursue uh, find out exactly what can we do like if we were to get the trail in order in nice walking order um, and put cinders or something here what can we do here and will these homeowners uh, object because they may not be True. you know if i lived here i'm not sure i would want i mean not that they would have a say, but you really don't want upset homeowners. I don't know that it's going to move us to Sharon, get that small I'm, so, I'm sorry. Um, in my opinion, that those houses are not real close to the pond. They're set well, well off. That's a good point. That is they're true. set well that off the true. pond. I don't think it there's... It looks worse here. Yeah, they're set well the off the pond. Yeah. I would not feel bad about running a a trail through there and and be concerned about that because they they really are set well off and it's wooded anyway that's true i mean that's I my opinion up this way now that's a good point you know robin hood trail goes right through right by a lot of backyards i don't know if you know that trail in, no i'm not yeah. familiar with that yeah. one have you done that yeah 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 it's like uh um, yeah but you've been a couple of the people along here that have fences, which so you can see how how far back their property line is. Right. That's yeah. true. That's true. And there's some chairs and other. Well, when, if you do put any here. kind of amendment here for trail, be careful because this just slopes right down. That's and true. Somehow the structure would have to prevent, you know, the cinders just simply running off and back and, into the water. Yeah. And they th that would be something they wouldn't like because then you upset their picnic area with yeah, a bunch of stuff. So would that be, you just have to be careful with how you design that trail. Yeah, well, that would be more of a hopeful public works yeah. thing. So I know we're still greatly understaffed. So, you know, we have some hurdles, but I was excited to, to get my hands on this because this at least gives us an idea of the area that we're talking about the trail, and um, that's my phone. I should have turned it off, sorry. Um, so, yeah, in this little tiny parking lot, and you guys have talked about maybe extending some parking over at the library. Well, you know, without, it, it, you know, it's public. It's a public library. It belongs to the people that live in the county, so I don't think anybody's going to complain. I don't people. think there's an issue either, because I'll it's park big my car over there when I need my girlfriends to go to the beach, right. and I just leave it at the library. Yeah. Yeah. And that is um, kind of more of a, I would say, a grand entrance of anything, because there's a, you walk over a bridge, which is in really bad shape, actually. There's some rotted boards. That is in bad shape. And, you know, that's more. I think I'm going to make a note to send a, a info. Yeah. There's at least two the boards are almost completely rotted through. Um, yeah. It's true. And there and there was a fallen tree right around that. There was right. That you know 
it's too big to just be, you know, shoved off to the side. But yeah, we don't want any of the kids that go over there to get hurt or yeah, go through. Well, that's that that whole bowl area where we kids used to take their uh, dirt bikes. We don't really see that that's been active lately. I don't know. I don't see kids there. Well, I have not been here for a while because honestly, my I'm not stable enough to walk that trail without falling because <laughs> I shuffle my feet a lot and stub my toes and the <laughs> So that path there is just not smooth enough for me. I have related to the previous business. I have a friend who works for Public Works. Oh, do you? He has. And he just sent a message saying, I just noticed eight new signs at Public Works. <gasps> Frosting, but they're not sure <laughs> they're going to be easily moved. Okay, <laughs> so they're there. So, so they're at public work. Yay! So, um, yeah, that's a great. That's great. That I'll just cross that off. Just there. Well, we have to get them out of public. Nothing's <laughs> and Goslings need them. Okay, yeah, that's fun. And say thanks for letting me know. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Okay, okay, so the signs are here. We just need to have them put out. Like since John has seen, especially like twelve babies walking around with the mommies and the daddies. Yeah, I I couldn't stop and take pictures, even though I wanted to. No, please. Because I would have been somebody yeah. would have run on my rear end. Yeah. There was a gentleman out in Sacramento yesterday. You probably saw it on the news. That got out of his car to help a mama duck and her seven baby ducklings get across an intersection. And he was successful doing that. And when he was walking back to his car, a 17 year old ran over him and killed him. Oh my. 47 year old gentleman, left a wife and two kids. It was his kind hearted. That was mm -hmm. just in his character, they said, to be helping like he did. But no one needs to be putting their lives in jeopardy. And again, it was a young person that hit him. So they were probably, probably had their, their head elsewhere and not. Looking out the window where it needed to be. Okay, so um, what I'd like to do is if there's anyone, uh, I think it should be either Patty or Patricia that may want to um, put together a request and send to me so that I can send it to info, either one of you. Uh, what we specifically want to do about this trail um, Pat and I have, have tentative plans to get together early next week, yes? And so how about if we'll take that on jointly and then we'll work that out. Um, we had some more things we wanted to do and Sharon, if you would send that, if you wouldn't mind sending that Matt with Pat, we will have that to look at as well and then we'll get it back to you if that's I okay. Like, if, if that gets lost, my head will roll. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. All right, good. Because I really wanted you to see it uh, since you're head of this project and I knew that this would be meaningful, um, you know, and helpful okay. to our um, cause. So, okay. All right. Okay. I think we are real close to having a list to send to you to send to Public Works. Um, and so we can get that back to you early next week. Yeah, let's be kind and gentle with our requests. So we don't want to overload or overburden. So we'll start a little baby steps. Okay, thank you so much, Dylan, and I'll look for that. Okay, so for the next meeting, we'll have, or before that, we'll have it for you. Yeah, have it, have it before the meeting, if you could, after you guys get together. I mean, there's no rush on this, but. The sooner we get the request in, they can start thinking about it and, and on how they may or may not be able to help us. They may turn us down. They may say, we're going to go out with the senders and just do what's there. They may not even want to address behind the homes yet, but um, Eddie Wells has this uh, yeah, let's, survey. Yeah. Oh, so, right. yeah, he is aware. John Viola is the one that ordered it that had it done so that, um, you know, they're you know, they're on top of things. They just we just don't have enough people. And, and of course, there's going to be costs associated with you know having these signs made. And we we're talking about you know artwork that has images of birds and plants that you find in the trail. And I was thinking if we could maybe partner with the Ocean City, City Center for the Arts, maybe see if they might be in a contest. That's and really a good. That's really a great idea. The winning artists would get their names on the you know their 
credit on the side. Yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, that's down the road. That's down the road. First, we, we have to get the money to do the signs. We have to, yeah. And and I did put in the budget this year. I didn't put much in there, but I think the budget was going to come up again before we even get to that step because yes. we need to get them um, in place before we even have a clue what we want to do as far as ordering and size and where and how many and and that kind of thing. But we do have a budget in the HOA that we could, you know, pay for these. I don't think they're going to be that astronomically expensive, but, um, you know, we can always ask. So I put in $15,000 for the South Pond erosion, and we're not going to spend that for growing in the creek don't rise because the Maryland Coastal right. Base will take it over. It's going to be closer to the 45, probably like $45,000. But we'll see how it goes. The more we do, the less it gets. Yes, if you guys could do that for me, that'd be great, Patty. Thank you. Okay. And if you want to take this, um, Patricia, I'll with you, it. okay, that'd be good. You guys can look yeah. it over. Um, the Green Street article. Now, what do we do? <laughs> well, if we knew that, if, if we know that those signs are actually going to be in place by the time the article comes out, oh. which is what? 15th June? of June yeah. is our deadline to have it in to Josh. Um, we could do that, but as a backup, I could, I could always work on my, you know, hmm. going green, way, ways to go green. Easy tips to go green. Yeah, yeah that was a that's, good backup. That, that's, that can always be. But the sign thing would be great, you know. It would be perfect to have it. Say you, you're going to see some signs and it's a kind of picture of them. Yeah, um, and they're just letting you know. I'm so excited that they're here. Now yeah. That they're in. Did you, did you, do you think I get a picture of them? Maybe they'll let you take a picture of them. Yeah. <laughs> All they have to do is go over to the facility. So you get sticker, so yeah. To let you take a picture of them. This okay. uh, on the Environment and Natural Assets Committee, and would like to write a and little. Maybe that also encourage them. And that'll like there. maybe yes, uh, light a fire to, to put the signs out. Oh, I'm excited. That's good. Here, I I had to go over there before and ask them, Bill, and I just tell them, and the next thing you know, there's there's somebody coming out and talking okay. to me. Yeah. 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 yeah, they're good people. Uh, they're very, very, very busy. And hopefully, they got they uh, uh, they ordered the ones that where you can that, that you can put, put some uh, sand well, in the way. Yeah, yeah, they're that, but you can you fill them with sand, like you know, a couple pounds. Yeah, they have way that up. stabilizes them so that you know. Because we have well, some light breeze like yeah. we have here. It's, yeah, it gets windy. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would have to. I maybe have to. Interview one of the, some of you folks about you know who knows about the time the accidents that have happened and mm -hmm. the whole history of why we think we need them increase the traffic congestion being I think among one of them so we've had pedestrian accidents and, yeah I just wish we could have yeah, the traffic very, very very well now that they're in I can't imagine that they would put them in Ocean Park okay. it's uh getting really bad. No one knows how to, first of all, how they work. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so done signs would be our first choice, and second would be green. And I'll try to get that to you at least a week before the final. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> of course, he buys when I get ready to look at him. <laughs> Okay, there has been some activity on the tree issue uh, that Tim and John have been putting together. It came in late yesterday evening, so I just thought that I would share with everyone in this meeting, and I don't know why it printed so tiny. My eyes have a hard time reading it. Um, as you all saw, I shared with you, um, Tim and John have put together a statement for our committee, and we did remove the line that specifically said um, that we might be meeting with the construction company to invite them to a meeting. That was uh, considered overreach for our committee and out of the realm of our responsibilities. Uh, we were told uh, that that's something that we, we should not be considering. Um, 
I just to, to clarify, when I called up the real, realtor to ask about <clears throat> who's building all these lots, the realtor suggested. First, she said, uh, we don't, Ocean Pines doesn't need another, to pursue another lawsuit. I said, we're, we're not trying to do that. No. And she, then she said, well, why don't you invite the builder to your meeting? Right. And we can make okay. That's I, I see where the connection is. Mm -hmm. That would be something that John Viola or someone in this office would would take up the cause. However, what happened when I sent this information uh, to info at funds.org and I shared it with the CPI department yesterday afternoon around a little after four, I think Doug was copied on this as well. Um, they said, we have checked the records of the CPI department to determine if approval was given for all the tree removals. Worcester County Environmental Programs gave approval for 226 Windjammer Road to clear the lot on December 22nd, 2022. Worcester County supersedes Ocean Pines regulations for clearing as it pertains to new homes. Then they said that 216 Windjammer Road is not a Sikos home. Is that how you pronounce that? Yes. Sikos home, but another builder. And again, Worcester County has given approval to have this lot cleared of a majority of the trees. So what they're going to do is forward our concerns to Worcester County to take into consideration for any future lot clearing. So it would appear that Ocean Pines may have our rules and regulations in place, but Worcester County, when they come out and count the trees and go from there and get their approvals for removing, they supersede any of our regulations here. And maybe they should understand the whole nature of our yeah. of our community. Uh, yeah, our, so so this this upsets me. Yeah, I'm upset too. I don't like see that happened across the canal for me. They went in and took every single tree down, and they did not need to do that. It was convenience for the builder. So I'm not going to make this. So upset may upset some of you. It upsets me. I'm not going to make this a personal agenda because what you just said uh, is what's so called the county supersedes. But then I don't understand what happened in the last 50 years. Did the county supersede all the building in the last 50 years? If I look around, I still see trees still located yeah. here. I know when we built our home in 2014 was when the county came out, yes. we signed the contract. They, we only took down what trees we needed to build our home and we left yes. as many trees in our front yard as we possibly could. Right. Uh, they came out and counted the trees with our builder that was being removed at least three times. And finally, he said, I'm done. If you want to go count trees again, you go count them. Right. And we had to put up a bond that they held until after uh, mm -hmm. whatever plants we put in to meet their point system for the trees that were being removed. You say they, Worcester County. Worcester County. Worcester County. I had to send them a... It was like a $19,000 bond or something. And we did get that money back after they came out and they made sure that all the plants that match their point system for the trees, there's certain points given to trees that are removed. And then indigenous plants that you can put in uh, to replace that point system. So we had to meet that. So in 2014, it sounds like they had some- Yeah, and by the time our home was completed in 2015, uh, that's when we got the uh, the occupancy uh, permit. From that day, the clock started ticking two years, and then the county came out again and checked the plants to see, make sure they were still alive, mm -hmm. and then we got our money back. Uh, but just the again, this so again when I contacted the county uh, people that regulates tree cutting. They basically, their response is, we regulate, they're, they're involved with the state law with the critical area the zone. And so the county has to regulate um, any properties within 200 feet of a waterway. And that's what you've done. I remember that. Yeah, that's true. So uh, my guess right now is that um, Ocean Pines administration is confusing 
because again, the county said we don't do anything else as far as regulating tree cutting other than you know conservation areas or any special okay. condition. So I'm guessing is that the Ocean Pines administration is confusing that county um, responsibility for the 200 foot critical zone regulation with all property development in Ocean Pines. Because in other words, it, it, they're elevating the county's responsibility over all of Ocean Pines when in reality, I think it's just that 200 foot zone. Um, hopefully, when if they do respond back to the county, maybe they can get that clarification. And again, my hope is, is that, oh, okay, well, well, wait a minute, maybe we can uh, regulate tree cutting in a different way within Ocean Pines. That's what I hope is. I hope that turns out, but I guess that's what the students go. The, the two homes on Windjammer that you would take a picture of, right. are they on the water? Or? No, they're, they're okay. actually next to 90. They're, they're yeah. far from the water. Yeah, they're at two o'clock. Yeah, and I've noticed, I, 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 there's a there's a house on White Horse Drive that I know it was that builder because it's the same model. They only he only puts up one model house, and uh, because when I talked to the realtor, I mentioned that lot of White Horse, and then I mentioned this lot, and that's when she identified uh, seat case. Okay, so from what uh, the CPI department is saying, two two sixteen when Jammer is a different builder. Okay, so I don't know who that might be because I don't know who's building. In Ocean Pines, but there's probably several. You can tell because uh, what they do is they drop the drainage ditch uh, pipe, and you know they're they're planning on moving in there. Oh, that. that's like the telltale sign. Yeah. Okay, so it, it's like the um, our own organization defers to Worcester County right. and Worcester County's response because it's not a water right. lot is saying, oh, we don't care. Right. Uh, go ahead and right. cut a clear. Right. We, we don't approve you cutting all those trees. Sure. Well, I and at, at best case, that's a, miscon it's a, it's right. a misconception and right. confusing. At worst case, you've got at least one builder and maybe more who understand right. That there is a way to get around right. the ocean pines. There's a question. I think you brought it up in a meeting previously. We are an aging community. We're over 50 years old now. So would that have any effect on regulating trees being cut down? Because now they're so old. At some point, trees. I know we've had several die that we've had to take out separately. Well, yeah, I mean, there's several issues of why a lot of trees are getting cut down, and that's one of them. They're, Trees are if we're an aging community, yeah. so the rules might change a little bit. But that motivates me even more that when you have an opportunity, don't do this. Right. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, go ahead and clear some trees, but I mean, they and went right up to the property now. There so should be some intelligence of applied to, I mean, not all aging trees need to come yeah. down either. Yeah. True. Um, True. And, and a reputable, um, uh, company that that takes I mean we when we had Santa Maria come out and they looked at our pines and our, you know there was one aging tree that was clearly in trouble and they said we should take that down and we need to get a permit for it but it, right. you know our recommendation to take that down the other ones they said was were, were fine um they just uh trimmed them um and and so if you're responsible you still apply some intelligence to what trees could go there may be more because they're now aging we have a but lot of have very healthy trees right. that are doing great in right. our yards and, and they're as old as any trees in this whole community uh, i mean i think we am i right do we all enjoy the tree habitat and the birds <laughs> and the <laughs> the ocean pines you know for yeah. years and so. and so i think we have a um an important quality of life issue that we want to preserve so I'm just going to conclude sharing with uh, I tried. We we tried and you and, were instrumental. And hopefully there will be a positive result of that communicating back to the but county. Maybe you've uncovered something. Yeah, uh, at best is a 
a confusion between well, raising the level of awareness right. within the county possibly is what we needed to do and that was our one of our missions was to stop all of the blatant just tree trimming uh, on these lots and the county they may have someone sitting at a desk that's just giving out these permits just without saying it's okay giving any thought yeah, yeah. there's no water we don't have any insurance yeah like this is the rule and that's okay and you do what you need to do and the builders playing you know paying the permit fee and everybody's happy so with um ocean pines understanding where we're coming from is first step and then sharing with worcester county uh, for future lot clearing i'm i'm happy with that yeah. and i'm glad that they explained it to us and i and i thank them for their clarification so um, you know we're doing our job as an advisory committee because we just didn't want all the trees chopped down Patty, did they freeze on your end? Okay, I can't hear you either. Pat, yes, I'm frozen too. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I just lost them all together. Yeah, me too. Okie dokie, I'll try back again in a minute or two. Yep. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.
friend. So, you know, <laughs> they can't be naive enough well, to I think have to that say the contractor is going to just swallow that cost. Well, we're already swallowing the cost of cleaning up our own yards now that we can't use the maintenance yard on a regular basis. Right. Um, right. And, as I pointed out, I don't like the idea of all the yard waste going into the trash. Right. The public service. But say no, no, say no if, the, if, the, if the tree cutter has to pay that, they're going to pass it on to Yeah, you. of course. Yeah, you know, that's, that's, I, uh, I just, when is your car ready? No, I've got to take it. Oh, no, oh, you're <laughs> taking it. Oh, gosh. Okay. So we, it, time, we only have one more thing to talk about. No, that's At the time. next. Yeah, that's, that's. I was trying to wait for Patty to get back on here so we she can hear everything. I would like to speak to the to the big situation if I could. Yeah, the uh, it's just I had talked to Tracy Jones who manages the Golden Plot and she had talked to Jenny Kearney who had actually started in April this whole chain of reaction. The more I'll just say this and then you can uh, tell us what what your uh, input is, but. The more people I talk to, everyone has an opinion. Of course. Yeah. And I'm just. But they're not. You guys say they're not hives. Hives are for honeybees. Right. Yeah. These are these are solitary bees that are just pollinators going about their business. They don't make honey. They don't make wax. They're, they're not aggressive. Much. No. They just, just so much. I want to call her because she might need to okay. rejoin. Rejoin. Okay. Rejoin. Thank you, Lord. I'm sorry for I have one in my backyard. If I need something, yeah, yeah I was going to see if the, yeah. if the <laughs> my backyard has uh, Mesa bee houses. Ah. I don't know if they do or not. I don't know either. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, could it. also put butterfly houses in the, the, the company. Nobody could object to butterfly. Well, except that they come from caterpillars. Yeah, Maybe it after Kenya. <laughs> yeah, it's not true. Yeah, I mean, it just sounds to me like it's, you would think the garden plot would want it because they I actually did. talked to one of the guys they in the garden plot. I went to a, a beekeeping workshop the Coastal Days had. Uh, we're, we're, we're oh, somebody, I saw that. Yeah, you know, that was a announced. Nice. Pretty cool, honey bees, you know, that right right over in Whaleyville was a part from here. Um, but you know, and those because we don't have enough native pollinators, this okay. this or company, you know, they actually rent hives to farmers so that they get their fields. Did she? But, but they they some bees now. But the um, issue that I saw was that. Somebody worried that they were it's too they, close to the to children's the, place. To no, place. It is not. But it I is know, not. I know it's not. That's <laughs> what this lady told me yesterday over the phone. She said, This is, there's no way that it's going to be an issue for the children and the playground. It, they don't, these bees, hey, okay, people are misunderstanding because they're probably thinking we're talking about honeybees. We're not talking right. about honeybees. There is an entire swath of green space with trees yeah. and a parking lot between and bushes. The, in the garden, you could put the hot, the, house in the garden plot there's a fence around it so it's you know, I, don't know. I'll just see if Patty I think that our recommendation stands where we selected because we were mainly concerned that they sprayed pesticides and we didn't want to kill the bees I think that's where they were right. concerned about right. placing their right. their uh, house their little bee house yeah and you know there's actually a sign on the uh, gate to the garden plot because you, you have to have a key that says, you know, pesta, don't spray. Don't oh, okay, that's good to know. And, you know, you can put it either in the mid middle of that plot or towards the uh, the road. It's uh, it's Maitland Creek there. Yes, exactly. And, you know, I, it would be so far, I mean, they wouldn't even know it's there. It looks like, because they look like, you could just think it's a birdhouse. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what the other thing is. If, I don't know, there was an you know, a nasty, aggressive bee that and got involved in, and it went after a kid, they, and you take the ham stand. Yeah, yeah. it breaks up a question. They, they don't have a bar of understanders. The uh, they only. I know. I no, if you I don't think there would be. I'm just saying. You know, it's not like the state is. Would a wasp take over? Would would some nasty critter take over the bee house? Possible. A wasp or a. Like if a wasp were to get in there, then we got a problem. Well, it's just it's for the people that work in the garden lot, but I, it's so far away from the playground. Right. That I would say if someone saw a wasp, then we go in there and we spray wasp killer. But sure. that would kill bees, but they'd probably be already dead yeah. and gone anyway if the wasp took over, right? I don't yeah, know. This is a conundrum. I mean, I'm I'm all for it 
I'm not worried about the mason bees. Like you said, they're very docile. Generally, because they do create, you know, big nests, and you can't mm -hmm. do that. They're, these, these things have like, if, just imagine bam, bamboo. It's, it's yes, I saw that. Mm -hmm. I saw that picture. So it, it was, it's not a home for a wasp to make his hive in there. They would so. probably want to go yeah. elsewhere. Yeah, every time I've seen a wasp nest, it's always a very wild situation. Mm -hmm. and they made like that big. The yeah, there's either yeah, the paper, yeah. paper yeah. lights, or there's just the ones that make cells, like that look yeah. more like a beehive. But right. yeah, these are, these are. Oh, so where do we stand on this? Because I need to get back to. Uh, so I think we ought to do the person who's ahead of. Is there who's in charge of that? Garden? Well, Tracy Jones is the manager of the garden plot. I talked to her yesterday. She she's and doesn't work for Ocean Pines. No, no. Well, she might live here, but uh, she was the one that said that she had actually had the conversation with Jenny Kearney before Jenny Kearney even emailed Ocean Pines to with was, this request. She was so the, this person's in favor. Tracy's in favor. Of oh, uh, yes, she's in favor. She said. Honestly, where we had selected to put it was so far away from the children's playground that she wouldn't even be concerned about it. Who's Jenny I agree. Kearney? She Jenny Kearney is the lady that made the request. And she is affiliated with? She resides on Hatter Street in Ocean Pines, and it's part of a training with Maryland Master Nash okay. Naturalists. Okay. And they're installing bee houses at various locations in Worcester County. Okay. And they wanted to pick this spot here near our garden plot. And this has become a thing now that <laughs> sounds you know, like a great thing. We're still yeah. talking about it. I, I, I would just say, you know, it doesn't have to go any further up the ladder. We say, go ahead and do it. And Look, go, said, go right ahead and do it. If there's any complaints, they won't even know it's right. Yeah. And if, and if John right. is nervous about it, then just don't do just it. Just make sure he understands. Either do it, don't do it. That's it. That's not a hive. So, you know, it, it's right. just a little bee house, a little right. docile Not bee honey bees. Right. right. Docile Mason. Uh, they're, well, they're species. called Mason, right? Well, there's they're Osmia, O S M I A. And there's many different types, not many, but there's a few. Mm -hmm. Masons are are the most common because they were known to actually, you know, find little holes and walls and bricks and put their nests in there. But if you want to attract them, you give them the ready-made, um, you know, cylinders. Right, right, and then they just come in and they've got their little condos. All yeah, they around. make their little, you know, cocoon, and you know, when the young are born, they. All right. Well, then let, let me tell you. Um, well, my house, I have huge rose bushes all around it. I know the wasp and everything love it. And I, I cut and edge the yard and I get over there, man. Sometimes I got I got to move out of the way. Well, yeah. Because so they're you, coming after me. You don't use pesticides. You know, you're I don't attract pollinators. You know, I don't. Yeah. I mean, I don't try and kill. Plants themselves I just are going to be attracted. Not to get stung. We have no control over that. Exactly. Planting. Well, but the gardeners were excited yeah. about yeah. it because yeah. these yeah. would help pollinate. Yes. So that was a good thing. Yes. And so it's safer than, um, you know, you can't put a beehive in the middle of a garden that everybody's yeah. working in. Yeah. I put bad houses up if I could. Yeah. yeah. And they're really good too. And then take care of the mosquitoes. Yeah. 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 yeah terrified that's why i don't want to get rid of mosquitoes bats. bats the bats yes my neighbor put up a bat house mm -hmm. and i haven't seen one mosquito yeah, right. put, put it on your property yeah. i don't think anybody can stop you yeah. Yeah. no they did they just put a little bat house up and it's, it's yeah. worked like a charm and it's a pesticide free yeah. it's wonderful yeah. all right um the teacher kid to fish day i just kept it on here um, because Sharon, um, Sharon and Karen are going to be doing it. Um, I'm gathering, I just brought some information. I'm still gathering information. I wanted to show Karen um, what I'm pulling together. I really personally don't want to do this. I hate fishing. I don't like to see the critters and I don't like the hooks and I don't like the worms and anything else that they're going to be using. But I'm doing this for a higher purpose and cause because I think the kids need to learn how to clear their gear and take care of the hooks and the, and the mob filament and such. I'm doing it for the animals and the wildlife over there because every time they have one of these, there's inevitably a bird or something gets caught up with the mob filament and that breaks my heart. Yeah. I so, think it does a lot to solidify our relationship with the fishing people. I do yeah. too. They said we were invited and so I'm going to show up. I'm going to have a little table. I'm going to drag Greg out there with me. <laughs> what time is that thing? It's from 9 to 11 on June 17th. I have it in here in the, in the business. Oh. 
do dot here. I'm just keeping it on here because I don't want to forget. It's not like I want to be anywhere at nine o'clock on Saturday morning, but I will be over there. <laughs> That's nice. And uh, I'm going to try to find some things that kids can color um, to, to get the point across. I'm going to try to find some little crayons that I can hand out and that kind of thing, you know, make it interesting and fun for them. The dollar store sells little packs of like eight crayons and you That's get a pack of like 12. The dollar lot. store things? Okay. Yeah. If I don't care. I'll put the charge that out right? of my pocket because it's just big stuff. Yeah. Oh, so Karen, you have Karen is going to help you with that. Karen uh, Baldwin volunteered. I'm hopeful because I haven't heard from her, so I may be there with Greg by myself. <laughs> Anybody that wants to come by is welcome. Uh, the environment and natural yeah. ice stable will be there. I would come. But that's my habitat restore time. <laughs> That's okay. When Greg retires, he'll probably be going with you to that. Yeah, okay. They, to they could always use help. Okay. Well, so at the tap. The I want them to wear the gear. Don't bring them over. Recycle. Don't, 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 don't teach them to fish. Focus on the slides. We will appreciate that. Well, that reminds me, speaking of tables, you know, place. at Bay Day, you oh, be in, why didn't you think about it? in the past, we're just having a table. We are not. They turn stuff yeah. up, they take it there. Right. <laughs> to, be to kind of stuff that comes because in. my name right. is associated <laughs> with the Environment and Natural Assets Committee, and which should get in the book. That's right. Uh, but we were in no way representing <laughs> this committee. Uh, well, you had your... your uh, Geese table. We, yeah. we had our geese table, Sunfax Canada yeah. geese. That has been near and dear to me since that yeah. happened in 18. I started putting a table together to educate people. That's all. And it wasn't anything to do with right. our committee. And I didn't even realize that until they brought the passport book and around and we were to check off like when they came by and talked to us and got information yeah and i had to check it off and i was like uh-oh so i need to let liz know yes and i was at a table that was a new thing nurdles you don't know what nurdles are we do know what nurdles are yeah it's just the, the, the microplastics process, yes. yeah. it, it, that it wasn't in the passport so i had to hand write it on there for the kids <laughs> and it was the guy that was uh coordinating it great oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> Meet my sister Terry. This is my twin. Okay. <laughs> like twins. No kidding. Okay. We are twins. Oh, uh, oh wow. Hey, uh, okay, garden. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> hey, we had a wireless uh, connection problem here. That's why it kind of went out. Yeah, we lost Pat in the process. I don't think she's going to hook back in because okay. she's NASA. She's at her at her work desk. It took um, me a while to get back because I'm on my sister's computer and I had logged off, so I had to go out in her garden and get her and bring her back in to log back in. Yeah. So I apologize for the interruption. We have a set up for about 15 minutes anyway. So. That's what I thought. We're actually concluding our meeting. Um, we're sorry to have missed you. We just went ahead and, and uh, finished up here. Okay. And, uh, we really appreciate you being uh, able to join us, even though you're away. So, um, if we're anyone, doing a, we're doing a. I'm sorry, she's a master gardener, and we're doing a gourd workshop this afternoon. Oh, so that's why I'm here. Yeah. Well, I'm sure she appreciates your help on that. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of work. Yeah. Anyone else? About the, the, the that we've made. Oh. Um, yeah, we've. I think we've decided to give permission for the uh, Mason Bee House to go up in the um, with the community garden. Yeah, good. Because good. it's very far away from the playground. It's good. Not, <laughs> shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, right. we've we've just rehashed it several times, and we just went through that again. And everyone's in agreement that it's far enough away from the playground that it won't be a problem. I'm not quite sure who voiced the problem to start with. It might have been a mother or could have even been a gardener i have no idea but in our opinion we're good to go good all right excellent thank you okay um our next meeting is june 28th it's on the bottom of your agenda it's also on the bottom of your uh, meeting minute notes for uh april and uh, it will be in this building at 10 o'clock anybody else have any comments? Just a quick, I know everybody's ready to go, but um, the Lower Eastern Shore group, 
we had a Zoom meeting last week, and uh, they had a number of things they were talking about, uh, and some of them are very much where we're going. And the one thing that they're really getting big on is the plastic bag ordinance. Yes, I saw that. And uh, and they had a, a neighborhood walk, which I thought was, you know, pretty interesting. Uh, these meetings we do on Zoom because people are scattered all over the place. And I just wanted you to know they're looking for that and, and bottles and stuff like that, trying to keep them out of the bays. And there was just an article in the Washington Post, Monday the 23rd, where the Chesapeake Bay blue crab population increases oh, after a time low. Yeah. And that's and and they attribute most of this to all of the work they've been doing trying to keep the bay clean and keep the the uh, uh, water runoff, not killing the natural uh, living organisms in there that the crabs feed on. And it quotes, if this continues, it's showing that their efforts are improving. Drive down crab prices. <laughs> so I, I, just, I just thought that. Although vendors tend to, once it gets up to a certain oh, price, that we have. Yeah. Don't like to make it come back down. And then they're having a neighborhood walk in June in Salisbury. And then they're uh in some cases they're actually going to the to the local high schools and all and giving little presentations to the kids in the oh, classes, yeah. which which really helps. Yeah, education. And then uh they're looking at uh, synthetic turf in certain areas. For what? Uh to prevent a well the use of the fertilizers and and then which which you know that runoff is has a, a negative effect right. you know and and it kills certain organisms and then they uh the crabs and the fish that live on them don't have anything to eat which i thought was also interesting but i guess where i was really coming from was that uh their you know their focus is to try and keep the waters clean so and the plastic bags out making a difference yeah making a difference because when you live here in the pines on the canals and you have the bay guess what you're going to have a, a similar thing going on right. but right now i oh yes yeah, i'm sorry to use that word i was out on my dock yesterday <laughs> just trying to make sure everything was all right and i had little tiny fish swimming in the water yeah, like crazy amazing. all over amazing. the place it's amazing today it's right. yeah it, it, it's really really something but yes. There, I mean, I, the plastic bag initiative. Are they trying to just go county by county and get get more counties to say no more? Yeah, they're trying to keep people from uh, throwing the plastic bags away. They wanted them uh, recycle. How about just or not using? Them. Well, that's okay. the point. Okay. Okay. They, they're they're trying to go to the stores and make sure that the stores, you know, don't well, use offer, those things they if they can do. Uh, well, the options are other bags, yeah, you know, where you can you keep, you know, and. Isn't, isn't the entire state of Delaware now banning? Yes, they yes. are. Delaware, yeah. When you go to the food line up there, you get paper bags. Yeah, well, Delaware. well, here they'll, the, you know, you'll get, and what I now have my own in, environmental bag that yeah. I got. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and when I go to the store in the food line, unless it's you know, mm -hmm. it's just me now. I buy a lot of. I, I just That's have my own do. bag and walk out, and I leave it on the passenger seat of the car and. Use it whenever yeah. possible. That's one yeah. of the easy ways to be green. That's the best way to be green. That's the only thing that works is making them yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's that, right. And, and, I, and when I walk down the street and I have walk with my dog or something, every once in a while now I find a bag and I, I, you know, I'll pick it up. But most of the time, I don't, I don't see them anywhere near as often as I yeah. used to. That's so, good we thing. just have to do something about the free paper. Uh, Deposits from driveways. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, we went through that. We went through that. Yeah. Well, I know that uh, <laughs> that that that, that the courier now, if you want to get it delivered to your house, they ask that you call and order yeah. it. And 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 now when they come in the close, that I get the courier because there's a couple articles in there. I like to have space articles and and the tie charts and all, which are good. Uh, I'm one of the few people that even get it. Yeah. Well, the, that up. at least newspaper is recyclable, but the plastic bags that come in yeah, those are are yeah, well, they're not very big. Yes, but I take the little plastic bag and put it in my recycle. 
container and, and you can't actually recycle plastic bags it depends on who's got it you can't oh, well, food it. lion yeah you take it yeah, that's what i do oh, is okay. i take them over to food lion and put them in the research yes. bin is that what you do yeah. huh do you go to food lion for the to take your bags back oh uh, i go you know i i can do it there Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have a big. big they have a, right, at the, sure. right at the door when you go in on the far right. Yeah. A huge bin for plastics. Yes. Yeah, sure. I don't know what they do with them because you can't recycle them at plants. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what they do either, but it's nice to have. Okay. Well, I, 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 I have I have been in chemical <laughs> plants that were recycling plastic. Okay. Oh, bags. so we know they do it. Well, what they do is it's it, it, they they take the bags and they put them together. They put it in a form that can be re. It, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> What's in there? Microplastics and it's, 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 it's just a fancy cute little. Yeah, yeah. and the only thing they're trying to do is make sure that the plasticizers are all compatible that are in the bag, so that they can you reuse most of the material okay. to make more plastic bags. Yeah. Good. So recycle people, that's the key word. Either don't use them and if you get them, put them, take them over to Food Lion and recycle. It's a way to go. Okay, do we have a motion to adjourn? Sure. Okay, thank you. Okay. She's been aching to get out again. We are adjourned. Anything from Doc real quick? Well, I, I actually took a couple of those. Number one, um, Point. So you guys will have the best looking forward. I saw that in the paper, yeah. Uh, the reason I remember it is that over time the vegetation will take root and hold its place. And that same concept was explained. Uh, it's going to be, they're going to use that same concept. I think it's it's point. 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 Yeah, the whole eyes, it's not riprap, it's, they put the vegetation in, they put the sand in, and they expect Mother Nature to, you know, sort of just kind of do her thing. Place. And so it has a long life span. So yeah, very. That's, so, yeah. And that was another one where Maryland Coastal Bay has acted on our behalf and uh, uh, secured the funding. They do a lot of good things for us. Yeah. I'm finding that. Mm -hmm. Oh, we do appreciate you. I think there's there's something on the OPA website about that, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, now, right now, money has been for the design phase. Okay. Uh, Ocean Pine put up a good as part of the negotiation. We put up ten thousand, you know, for the concept, and then things total like seventy thousand. They, they covered the other sixty thousand with grant money. Okay. So assuming it gets to that next level, whatever their protocol and process is, you know, they'll, they're going to go to the state. Obviously, they also talk about the ability of getting a federal funding as well. So we'll um, see what happens. That's now awesome. it's, it's, it is a, it's, you know, again. That's a huge the, project. Yeah, it's, it, I can't guarantee any time, so on and so forth. Right. Uh, I just wanted to clarify while you were talking about the uh, the shoreline there on the South Pond. Uh, yeah, we've used the contract that was given by the Sol 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 Solitude. Yeah. I can never as, remember as the anything. framework, okay, to help the, um, the, the, the fund grantors understand what it is we're trying to accomplish. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean we can reduce it. Oh, okay. okay. Well, so thank you for that. Let me make sure you thought, well, automatically they're going to get the bid. So if you have any, you know, no, they're not automatically going to get the bid. We'll still have to go through the Ocean Pines process. So, Understood. Okay. And hopefully we can get three bids per our governing documents. If we can, then obviously you've got another one and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you know, that that's not a done is, deal it's for not that. A done deal. It was used as a framework so we could mm -hmm. be intelligent, you know, to present something tangible to the okay. you know, to the grant writers, you know, for consideration. And the third thing about that beehive one, I, I'm reminded uh because that I, I'm I'm in between on I think it's a good idea, but uh, many, many years ago, when I was involved in USA hockey, uh, I will tell you that, you, and I've said this a hundred times, you could have the dead body, the smoking gun, and a signed confession, and you will still lose an argument with a mother about her child. Okay? <laughs> so the idea is if there's any concept that those bees could be a danger to a child, regardless of how far away they are, okay? 
you're going to hear. I, 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 the other thing I was like, said, there you go, use the logic again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea is, so I understand that, and I really thought it was a good idea, but, you know, so all it's going to take is one mother, one individual, mama bear. Yeah, you know, and, 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 you know, and then it'll be, and I'm sure you've seen this at the cascade effect of, well, why did this happen in the first place? Who recommended it? Who's idea was and, this? And spend a lot of energy on that. So if, if, if John Biola, who ultimately will you know, have he'll be the decision and, maker, and he decides that he does want to do it, tri- that's up to re- him. Yeah, rest assured that it wasn't just going. I don't like bees. It'll still take all that. Energy he'll take everything, and he's got to listen to. You know, like I said. Uh, uh, right. Well, he's the the buck stops for him. And the other thing too is, I always go back to the words of Pat Subic, the former director. She said, "Doug, there's eight thousand four hundred fifty-two homes in Ocean Pines. Don't get hung up on fifty-seven of them." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the thing is that a garden like that is going to attract bees anyway. My grandson's 15, so they don't go there anymore. But when they were younger, we would take them over there, and that playground was in awful, awful. The wood was rotting, it was, it was. I mean, I, it I the kids liked it, so we just kept an eye on them. Okay, where are all the mothers? Who <laughs> well, maintains the playground? Is that ours? Okay. Yeah, but but it's been it's been. I think it was 2017. I think we. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Two hundred ten thousand. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they fixed it up. They, they redid it, right? Okay. But so now it's nice. Where was that mother back in the you know? Uh, it's like yeah. I know you're working with right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some experience. Yeah, we advise in nature. We have been reminded of that this week, so we can advise, and then you guys can, you know, John can do with that one well. And, so, and maybe the, the women that started this whole thing could quietly encourage neighbors who have gardens to put them in their yard. That's right. Yeah, yeah, right around there. I will. I will. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Patty, for your feedback. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Have a, a good day, everybody. Trisha has the survey. Good luck with your project this afternoon. Thank you. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Boy.